Yo, what's up, family? Yo, got another good one, as usual, for all you people that want some positive stuff out there. Well, here we go. We're going to title this video here, One Word, Reversal. Well, let's try to let us say, The Reversal. Now, as always, you know I love to give y'all a word of the day, and that's going to be the word of the day. I know you're probably thinking, Reversal? What is this guy going to be talking about now? Pay attention. Watch. Watch how I get you with this one. The Reversal. Now, if you look up the word reversal, it simply means a change in position or direction or change in action, you know, or even behavior, the reversal. Now, what I'm talking about in this one, what I'm going to be talking about is, isn't it ironic, really crazy, how, how things once were and now how it's just the reversal, how it is now? And the way it is now is worse than how it was because the way it was was a good thing. Watch this. Let me start you out with a simple one. Very simple one, because this actually really annoys me. Sneakers, right? Think about what I'm talking about. Yes, sneakers, shoes you put on your feet. Do you remember, especially if you're like 35 and above like myself, right? Do you remember way back in the days when your parents bought you a pair of sneakers? You know, pretty much everybody had the same sneakers, and that was good. The only big deal about it was how clean you kept them. And I'm gonna tell you what was the most common sneakers most people wore. It was either Tom McCann, Buster Browns, or what was another good one? It was Tom McCann, Buster Brown. Oh, the most big one, Pro Kids. You had Pro Kids sneakers. And you know what most sneakers went for way back in the days? About $15, $16. And that's what everybody pretty much had. And everybody, I don't care if you're from Comp Compton, California, or Harlem, New York. It doesn't matter where you was from. Those are the most common sneakers. Buster Browns, Tom McCann's, but more importantly, Pro Kid sneakers. And most of them cost about $16, $15, and everybody was happy with that. And that was normal. It was no, no $100, $200, $300 sneakers. That's ridiculous. See, so my point was saying that with the sneakers is, isn't it amazing how everybody was fine with that? And everybody got along with that. And there was no real competition with one another, only as far as how clean you kept your sneakers. The most common one was pro kids, right? If you played basketball, you definitely had a pair of pro kids, or you know, that some call them converses, right? Isn't it crazy how most people had $15, $20 pair of sneakers? Now, if you was the kid in that neighborhood who had a pair of sneakers that was $30, $40, everybody said you was crazy. Everybody knew this, like, what? Man, you paid $35 for those sneakers? Man, you stupid. That's crazy, pay some $35. Man, because we all knew. Sneakers cost about $15, $16, maybe $20. But not no $35, $40, $50. And everybody knew if you had a $40 pair, $40 pair of sneakers, they said you was crazy and stupid. You ain't going to pay that much money for those sneakers. You crazy? Now, remember, what's the title of the video? The reversal. Let's rewind. Now, let, let's do the reverse of what I just explained. See, if you had $15 pair of sneakers, that was normal. Everybody had that. But if you had a $40, 30 pair of sneakers, everybody said, yo, you crazy. Ain't nobody gonna pay that much for those sneakers. Look at now. Now is just the reverse. Isn't that crazy? Like I said, the reverse now is more ridiculous and more stupid. It's more beyond, it doesn't make sense. The reverse now is everybody want $100, $200, $300 pair of sneakers. And if you do got the $15 pair of sneakers, they say, you're crazy. But you got the $300 sneakers, and they go, you in the in crowd. You like one of us. No, all y'all bunch of suckers. Let me tell you why most people got them $300 sneakers. Know why? Because a famous person put their name on the sneakers, and now you bought them to say that you're somebody. That famous person name that's on that sneaker, you know what it might as well say because you bought it? Sucker that you bought a $300 pair of sneakers opposed to with the way it used to be where everybody could afford it. But now you got people who can't afford it and the ones that can't afford it, now y'all want to say, oh man, they poor, man, they suckers, they corny, man. They got them little weak, whack, black sneakers. So now, you see that reversal? How $300 sneakers became the normal and the, the, the $20 sneakers is abnormal. But back in the days, the 20 or the $15 sneakers was the normal. And if you got anything above $30, $40, they was like, you are stupid that's the reversal let's go with another reversal look how i remember back in the days right everybody know like i said it doesn't matter if you go from california to jersey to texas wyoming wherever 
when you crack jokes, some people are in areas they call them cracking jokes, bagging, you know, whatever, whatever they call it in their area, you know, but basically cracking jokes on one another. Like, oh, oh, oh man, yo, you're so poor this, and your mama this, and your father this, and you know, all them type of jokes, right? This was nothing more than cracking jokes, or some people call it woofing, you know, like my other video, uh, countering the conspiracy to destroy black boys. Great video, check it out. But anyway, when we cracked jokes back in the days, remember the title of the video is Reversal. But look at how it was back in the days. We cracked jokes on one another and we still was friends. We even was in the classroom and we cracked jokes on each other. Sometimes we put other people down, made them cry, I hate you. <laughs> Maybe whatever the case, right? Sometimes the jokes were so funny the teacher would even get in on the jokes in class. Or the teacher would stop teaching for a moment and listen to some of the funny jokes. And that's all it was, it was funny jokes. And if you had a big brother or, 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 or uncle or cousin, or whatever, it, when you came home, cause you got out cracked, out joked, your uncle and your older brother told you, boy, you gotta learn how to tell jokes yourself. Don't let nobody put you down with no jokes. Remember the episode on my wife and kids? Where yeah. Junior was upset because the, the bully was cracking on him with jokes saying his head was so big, this and that. And Damian Wayne said, we come from, from a family of jokes. Boy, you gotta know how to tell jokes, boy. You gotta, <laughs> we, we all tell, he told him a bunch of funny jokes and he went back to school. He told the jokes and it was funny. Now you see my point with this is, that was growing pains. No one got hurt. It was just simply telling jokes. And sometimes you put people down and you put the personal business out there, but it was still just a bunch of talk, talk a bunch of hot air. But now, look, watch this. Here we go again. The title of the video, the reverse. The reverse of that now in this current day, let you tell a silly joke. Just a simple, innocent joke in school. You know what they call it now? Bullying. You can't even tell jokes because everybody's so doggone soft now. It's like, damn, man, I'm just telling a couple of jokes. You end up in the principal's office, possibly even suspended. You imagine that? Your parents getting a call saying, yeah, your boy, um, Mr. Jones, uh, we need you to come to school because your son uh, was being suspended and we need you here as a parent-teacher conference. Parent get to school and it's like, all right, yo, my son was bullying? What, what the heck's going on, boy? I ain't teach you to be bullying nobody. What did he do? Well, he, he, he uh, said a joke to the other boy and, you know, what, what, what did he say? Uh... He said that uh, I went in your house and uh, I seen a candle in the candle and I blew out the candle. Somebody said, who cut off the heat? You know, stupid jokes. <laughs> you know, stupid old jokes that we told. And you go, wait, wait, wait. Now the father be sitting there like, wait a minute, y'all spent suspended my son because he told a joke and y'all labeled it as bullying? Are you crazy? You waste my time, I took off work because y'all calling, that ain't nothing but telling jokes. But you see, that's the reversal nowadays. Everybody's so sensitive and, and soft that you can't even tell jokes nowadays because everybody say it's bullying. You're putting somebody else down. Isn't that crazy? Let's move on. Cars. Look at cars. Cars is almost like the sneaker story. Back in the days, see? We're going to go back in the days, then we're going to do the reverse to the current. Reverse car was going to be the current. Back in the days... It was no big deal about the big fancy car. I mean, if, if somebody in your family had the fancy car, that was cool. If you look at the fancy cars that was back then, you look at them fancy cars now, you be like, man, them just look corny, but it was junk back then. When you was about 16 or so, right, if your uncle or whoever, your auntie gave you even a junky car with rust on it and all that, you was a big deal for you and your friends to say, man, we got a car. Man, and if you did have that car, you driving around town, you seen other friends, y'all all hung out the window because it was like, yo, look at us, we driving, yeah. And then, ain't nobody was laughing at you because your car was raggedy. It was just a big deal. You got a car, man. It don't matter what type of car. He got a car. You get what I'm saying? Big deal. Current day, reversal. Look at the reversal now. If you driving a car, a regular car, or uh, uh, like that old school car with the rust on it, they say you whack, you poor, they crack when you putting you down. You ain't nothing unless you got a car that cost fifty, sixty, eighty thousand dollar, ninety thousand dollar car with twenty thousand dollar rims on them. See, Th just like the sneaker story, you worried about status, and you willing to sacrifice everything you got for your status. Most people are fronting with that status, like they call it, fake it till you make it. See, most people are worried about, I'm gonna I'm get that fancy car, even though it's killing my pockets, it's killing my bank account, I really can't afford it, but I'm worried about what people think about me. Like we said about the sneakers, remember? All because a fancy celebrity name is on it, uh, and it, it make you feel like somebody. But you remember back in the day, Poppy, I'm sorry, 
even when you had a relative that actually give you a car when you got out of high school. Yeah, it was or a big when deal. you're in a high school, as long as you get a ride, you have a ride. It was like, happy, we got a car. Oh, but yeah. But now, nowadays, they, they look. Yeah, see, like she said, you know, you was happy back in the days. You got graduation, your family bless you with something such as a car, and you was happy. But nowadays, they act like, oh, no, you ain't nothing unless you got that big fancy car mm -hmm. that you really don't know nothing about the daggone car. The average person so quick to go get a BMW don't even know what BMW stands for. Think about it. Google that. But anyway, let's move on. Because like I said, that's the reversal. It was a big deal. You had any car. You just had transportation. That's what you was happy about. Nowadays, it's, it ain't about transportation. It's about status and bragging, just like the sneakers. Oh, you don't mean nothing unless you got something big fancy. Like I said, that celebrity name on them sneakers or that big fancy car, might as well say sucker while you bought it because that's just what's, what it is. You're spending all your hard work money to get these things, faking it till you make it, fronting when you're going to work till you're 70. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. How about this one? Back in the days, you know it was a beautiful thing to see a, a woman on, the woman at school, on the street, wherever. You know how a man could simply say, Walk by her and say, hey, how you doing, beautiful? Or, hey, you're, you're a beautiful looking woman or whatever, right? What women don't love compliments, right? That was a that was a normal thing back in the days. I know you probably think where I'm going with this. I'm going somewhere very specific with this. Title of the video, Reversal. Back in the days, it was a wonderful thing for a man to give a kind gesture of compliment to a woman when he sees her, saying, telling her how beautiful she looked and how wonderful her clothes look and how how sophisticated she looks and um, carry herself. Now, that was back in the days. Remember, title of the video, reversal. Reversal meaning current day. Do you realize in this day and age now, you on a job site, you, you gotta be careful if you tell a woman, hey, beautiful, or oh, you look beautiful, I love that outfit you got. Cause the next thing out of her mouth is, that's sexual harassment. You like, all I said was a compliment to her. But let's be honest, What what is the real compliment? Where is it coming from? Because that's what it's really about. See, these women won't admit it. Watch this, watch this. Say in this current day and age now, right? Let's say the muscle bound guy, handsome looking dude, he says to the woman at the job, hey, Sarah, yo, oh, that dress looks outstanding. You look very beautiful in that lovely dress. You look wonderful, right? Tell us you're beautiful. She's like, uh, thank you all. Oh, thanks, Marcus. Right? It's a compliment, right? But say she keep walking down the corridor. Now she runs into Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan is about 290, out of shape, sloppy donut eating guy, right? Not that attractive. Jonathan says the same exact thing to her. Hey, Mary, how you doing? Yo, that dress looks beautiful on you. You look very beautiful there. That dress compliments you wonderfully. wonderfully. Know what she says about Jonathan? He sexually harassed me. How, how is it that two men told you the exact same thing, but because this one you find attractive, you say it was a compliment, but the other one you say it was an insult? That's ridiculous. It's getting windy out here. Well, yeah, let's move on. How about back in the days? Remember, it was a wonderful thing to see families together and stay together through thick and thin through the drug addiction, through the alcohol um, um, sickness they went through, and unfortunately, sometimes even through the abuse, rather than verbal or physical, but they stuck together as a family. Even if a man had a family on the other side of town, they still, they stuck together as a family, they stuck it out. Look at the reversal, title of the video. Reversal meaning current day now. Let a man do one little simple thing. You know what the, quick, the woman is quick to say? Oh, that's it, I, I'm done. Families broke up overnight. For the simplest of things, and women are so quick to say silly stuff like, I don't need a man. I hate that term. I don't need a man. And that all started from the 1965 uh, War on Poverty. I did a video on that. Check that video out too. It's called Just That. I don't need a man. And I break down the whole history of the War on Poverty from the president at that time. But it was really a war on colored people, black and Hispanic people. Because we're going to give you all these subsidies, but you got to get that man out the house. You see what I'm saying? But back in the days, we stood, we had the most structure when it came to father and two-parent homes. We had the most structure. 
See, it's who controls the media. They tell the, the narrative that they want. And their narrative is always to ridicule another race such as us. But they don't tell their story of all the nonsense that goes on. But my whole point was sticking with the subject is back in the days through all kind of strife and anguish, all kind of negativity that we went through, because ain't no right relationship is totally 100 positive. Through all the negative stuff we went through, ups and downs, we stayed together as a family. The reversal, meaning current day today, every little thing, a woman is ready to break a relationship up. Oh, he lied to me. Oh, he cheated on me. Oh, he ain't paid the bills. Oh, we ain't did this. Oh, we ain't did I ain't like how you looked at them. I looked at them. Oh, I'm getting welfare. I'm getting Medicaid. I'm getting Section A. I'm getting WIC. Remember, WIC means women, infant, and child. In this current day, a woman feels like she don't need a man because she got the welfare and the government as her man. So in this current day, it's ridiculous how women are so easy to break up a relationship and don't keep that family together. See, the reversal. Back in the days, ask grandma. Ask grandma. Ask great grandma. She'll tell you, yeah, your granddaddy, he did he, he did me wrong, but I stayed with that man. You know, I, I, we, I got other kids outside of our marriage and I helped raise them too. And, he was, and that's why we always had such a great admiration for grandma and great grandma. We was like, man, she's been through a lot. But in the end, her and granddaddy worked it out. Stood together. Worked it out. So, yo, like I said, there's plenty of other things we could talk about the reversal. It's just ridiculous how what was uh, things of respect and admiration and funny and acceptable. Now, in this current day, the reversal is everything is just the opposite. You can't crack jokes on somebody in school. It's called bullying. You can't wear a decent pair of sneakers because they say that's out of date, that's corny, that's cheap. You can't give a woman a, a compliment unless you the finest uh, guy in the damn group. Otherwise, you say that's sexual harassment. Women ready to break, break up the families because they feel like the government is their family opposed to working things out. Uh, whatever else. There's a bunch of stuff. We can keep going, but I don't want to keep the video too long. I lose it. Uh, some people got that short tension span. So, yo, we're going we're gonna to let y'all go. But y'all get what I'm saying. The reversal. It's ridiculous. I, I, I thought of this con uh, concept with this topic when I was thinking about the cracking jokes. Because it's crazy, man. Nowadays, everything is bullying. I can't crack jokes. Those are growing pains. And on that note, peace. Subscribe, share, like, and comment.